we want to find the inverse function for this equation, and we also want to find the domain for the regular function and the, the domain for the inverse function. So starting off, I'm going to find the inverse for this function. So simply f of x is the same thing as saying y. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swap out x and y and get y by itself again. That's how you find the inverse function. So I'm going to set this x is equal to negative tangent of y plus 1 minus 3. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 3 over here. It's equal to negative tangent of y plus 1. I'm going to take the inverse of negative tangent to x plus 3, and then I'm going to subtract 1. So I'm going to get negative tangent, what is supposed to happen? Negative tangent, inverse of x plus 3, minus 1. All right. So here's our inverse function right here. And our for our domain for a regular function, because it's tangent, it's going to be odd multiples of 2, uh, two pi. But in order to write this correctly, it's going to be a little bit different. So the domain for this, for f, is going to be x is anything except it cannot equal 2k plus 1, which is representation of an odd number, divided by 2, or excuse me, this should be pi times k, and k is an integer. Oops. Well, yeah, I'm trying my best to spell. All right, and then for the inverse, it's just simply going to be uh, x could be anything negative infinity to infinity, and it's valid. So there you have it.